this this evening is a tab mounting instructional, not directly on it. It's shining away from that. Yeah, that's great because it gets the bright light. Okay, but these are tabs for the mounting the power cube to the frame of life track. We need to punch a hole in these, a three quarter inch hole, to stick a pin through it. What we do is we first measure. I need some light there. This is the the seat of the power the tractor. Here's the hydraulic tank. This is facing back at the power cube, uh, looking back from the tractor seat. Okay, that floodlight. Okay. First, I'm marking a line down the middle, which is the space is 28. So mark a line at at 14. That's where the tab will go on the tractor. Then I take my tabs, hold it. I take my tabs, fit them in there, and sub subsequently I mark them. Um, actually, marked lines on these to denote the location where these will match up upon the hole being punched with a 150 ton world's first open source hole puncher and as long as these align then I'll be able to fit them between the power cube and the tractor that's the correct spacing so I'm just marking spacing here where if I line these lines up and punch a hole uh, as long as that hole lines up perfectly after the hole punch then I know this will align on the tractor to the power cube and what I will do is before welding I will put a three-quarter inch bolt to hold these together with a small spacer like a washer in between and held in place like that with that perfect alignment of the two holes I will weld that in place to guarantee perfect alignment so I can get a pin through them. It's a quick instructional on the tabs for mounting power cubes to the tractor.